Welcome to World War II Chronicles, a weekly tribute to America's fighting men and women in commemoration of the Second World War. These programs are narrated by Ed Herlihy and are based on the news broadcasts of the war period from the recorded sound collection of the National Archives in Washington, D.C. As a follow-up to the victory in North Africa, the Allies began an attack on Hitler's Fortress Europe, invading Sicily with more than 150,000 men. On July 10, 1943, the landings met little opposition. Men of General Montgomery's great Eighth Army seized the East Coast. General Patton's veterans of Tunisia make for the Southwest. Units of Canadians, Australians, and French are taking part in the attack. Naval guns cover the landing. General Eisenhower's headquarters has officially pronounced the Allied landing on the island of Sicily a success, and operations are proceeding according to plan. On land, the operation progressed well. General Patton's 7th Army pushed towards Palermo. The British 8th Army, commanded by Bernard Montgomery, battled up the island's east coast. Hard fighting has continued in Sicily today, especially along the east coast near Catania. The British 8th Army is battered against the strong German line without apparent success. But an American armored column has cut through to the north coast and has captured Palermo, the Sicilian capital. This lightning stroke traps 45,000 or more Axis troops and probably ends resistance in four-fifths of the island. American troops of General Patton's 7th Army move swiftly through western Sicily, taking town after town as they drive to join General Montgomery's British 8th Army. On August 5th, the Allies launched their final offensive and captured Messina, the port city only a few miles from the Italian mainland. However, the delaying action fought by the Axis allowed the bulk of their troops to escape across the straits. As expected, the end of Axis resistance on Sicily came fast when it began to totter about four days ago. The Allied command readily admitted that the Axis evacuation across the Messina Strait was more successful than we would like to have had it, but that a considerable toll of troops, boats, and equipment was taken by Allied planes and surface vessels. The conquest of Sicily, accomplished in 38 days, paved the way for the invasion of the mainland and gave the Allies control of the Mediterranean Sea. I'm Ed Herlihy. Join me next time for World War II Chronicles. World War II Chronicles was produced by the American Veterans Center and Radio America in cooperation with the National Archives. To listen to more episodes, subscribe on iTunes or visit AmericanVeteransCenter.org. We need your help to keep the legacy of our World War II generation alive. Visit AmericanVeteransCenter.org to make a donation to support World War II Chronicles and the ongoing work of the American Veterans Center.